refuse to stress myself over things I cannot control. The most exciting thing about the first day at the boot camp is that um, I have been able to have various network across Africa. Most of the peers, they are in different form of businesses. Others two are also in related business that I see that we would have future relationship that will help impact our businesses. My peer, like this Joseph, he has been very supportive. I've had a good time with him. So I feel very great in this first day of the put up. I'm expecting more. Thank you. All right. So what I like about this program is that um, I've got to learn things that I did not pay much attention to in aspect of business. You, I always say that you cannot know it all. You just have to try and see. So I've got to learn things that maybe I knew I was not implementing. Others too, I don't know. But then um, through this program, I've got to know um, ways that I should go about my business and then other aspects of my life since they also affect my business. Who I would like to meet most? I would like to meet the whole Anzisha team. And then my first question is to ask you what inspires you to give your time, attention and everything to us like this. Um, throughout the whole induction week of two, two weeks, each and every day join zoom meetings from 7 a.m to 5 p.m and you are barely on the meeting the whole period what inspires you to dedicate much time and attention to young ones like this i really appreciate so i am in the person of abu bakar sadiq from ghana when i got the mail about being chosen to be part of the Anzisha Fellowship, I felt so glad and excited. It has been something I have been expecting from last year. Um, when I had the mail that I have to have a call with Infomdo, when he called me, it was so much of joy. I feel so proud and excited that even this, I'm able to empower other young entrepreneurs to also try and then do their best for society. So it's been a great week so far, so good. This is the third day. And then if I'm to talk about someone that I'm excited about and what I like about their business, it's no other than my buddy, Joseph. He has been doing very great with his agriculture. And when I spoke with him a few days ago on a Zoom call, before we prepared to share our findings on the previous cohort, he made me know that he's looking at being the Uber of agriculture. And then it is something that I see very good. I like him a lot. Thank you. So um, one way I screwed up while running my business is not to pay much attention to the customers that ship smaller packages, of course. Most of the times, we do not regard people who patronize us little. But in the end, most of them that were served good, they came back and then patronized bigger. Some of them, they shipped larger packages, they brought in big deals. So I've learned not to treat people bad on the first instance. So I give much attention and respect to each of each customer.
about my pitch i was the first person to pitch although i was quite nervous but i think it was cool but i learned a lot about building my confidence as well as i also learned from some of my peers who have much knowledge on how to pitch and how to do that i really learned a lot it's something i would love to do next time and I'm very happy that I went through this. I've been able to learn a lot to connect with most of my friends and then build partnerships as well as I learned a lot from the coaches and then the entire Anzisha team. I'm just anticipating what next after this induction. And I have a feeling that there's more intake for a young entrepreneur like me to serve as a guide in helping me grow my business.